Hey folks, my name is Chris at Husset. Today we're going to talk about an interesting topic many first time home buyers in Florida, South Florida, especially Miami, ask about. And that is what are fixed track curtains and are they worthwhile? Well, fixed track curtains are kind of what they sound like. So imagine a uh, regular, you know, ceiling here in a Miami condo, typical floor to ceiling windows. Um, if you have traditional curtains on a regular track, then imagine the, the track that the curtain goes on, it'll extend across the entire length of the windows. So say you have floor to ceiling windows from left to right covering the entire room. Well, the fix, the, the actual track for a regular, um, you know, regular track curtain will extend across the entire room. So naturally, you can pull the curtains from one side to the other. Typically, there's one side that it's based on. You can pull it across and cover the entire room. Obviously, very helpful in South Florida, considering the amount of natural sunlight that people get. Um, you know, at the very least, even if it's not a room that you intend to sleep in, you know, maybe you want to have at least solar shades. But what exactly are fixed track curtains in that case? Well, it's actually a, a quite an interesting. Uh, feature to really dress up a, a living room, for example, but it's not as functional. So as we'll show in some of these photos, uh, essentially a fixed track curtain, uh, the, the track that the curtain goes on is only really approximately the length of the, the curtains that are bunched up. So it might be, you know, two, th like four or five feet, for example, two, three feet. And, uh, you know, the curtains are, are there on the sides, on both sides of the room. So to some, you know, bystander, some friends stop it coming over and taking a look at your, your living room, you know, they'll see that you have what appears to be fully functional curtains. And, you know, curtains are, are generally well known to be more expensive than, than just regular shades, whether they be motorized or not. Uh, drapery is quite expensive. So it really dresses up the room. It looks like you have a full set of beautiful, uh, you know, curtains. And uh, better yet, you know, the, one of the best benefits of a fixed track uh, setup is that because you're using a limited amount of fabric, um, it uh, costs significantly less. So you don't need fabric, obviously, for the whole part. You only need uh, non-functional drapery for the ends. So obviously, the amount of fabric used is much less. And uh, the other beautiful thing is for for most folks who you know aren't in the real estate industry or you know involved in interior design, they they really won't be able to tell that hey, you know, perhaps the curtains that I see here, um, you know, don't have enough fabric to cover the length of the room. So <laughs> most people won't notice it. And as an additional benefit, uh, it'll actually look perhaps nicer because you won't have so much fabric bundled up uh, together. So not only will it look lighter and nicer, but most people won't be able to tell that, hey, you haven't paid up for the real thing. So that's really it. I mean, that's what fixed track uh, curtains are. Uh, they are, you know, quite commonly seen here in South Florida, um, especially in rooms where, you know, perhaps it's not uh, like a sleeping type room. It's not a, it's not a bedroom or anything. And, you know, maybe it doesn't get direct sunlight too much during the day. Um, so in that case, you know, instead of spending the extra money for it, people might opt to just get a, a fixed track um, arrangement. And you might see that in, in some living rooms and such, you know, perhaps it's an east, uh, eastern exposure or a western exposure and, you know, you're thinking, hey, like uh, the sunlight that I'll deal with in the early morning or, or late in the day, I'll just deal with it. It's not a problem. Um, you know, personally, again, this is personal preference. Personally, we, we, we have thought long and hard about this question as well for, uh, you know, when speaking with our buyers and they're looking at new places and such. And, uh, you know, I, I personally think that it's nice to, if you're going to spend the money, you might as well get the real thing, get the full track across because at the very least, you know, even if it's early morning when sun streams into, say, your eastern exposure living room, you still might want to have the optionality of, um, you know, of, of blocking some of that sunlight with some solar shades. And, you know, who knows, perhaps it might be helpful even later in the day if you want to watch some television, it's the living room, it might be nice to block out some of that sunlight. So there you have it. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. But uh, if we can help you when you're buying or selling, please uh, let us know. We can help you save up to 6% when you sell with our House It Agent Assisted FSBO listing service. If you want something a little bit more hands-on, we have a 1% for full service listing option where one of our agents handles everything for, for you from beginning to end. And of course, if you're looking to buy a property, 
We can help you save 2% or more with our House at Buyer Closing Credit Program, where we give you two-thirds of the buyer agent's commission, uh, subject to us keeping a minimum of 1% as of this uh, filming. And uh, two-thirds of the buyer agent side commission can be quite substantial here in uh, Florida. For example, in Miami, some of these new construction buildings will offer five, six, seven percent to the buyer's agent versus the more traditional, you know, three percent, which is the half, six percent to buyer's agents. So, if you were to collect two thirds of seven percent, that's quite substantial and will often be more than your total closing costs. Uh, so, my name is Chris Hazen. Leave us a comment below if you have any questions. We hope to see you on the next one.